All right, so we got some stuff. All right, so here's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna try these. We'll see if I can stomach it. These are JDM, like legit JDM Honda badges. Uh, so we'll see. I, I like the idea of these better because they're cleaner, you know, than the, the ones that are on there, but we'll see. We'll see what we come up with. No, don't touch those. And then these are our clear lights and I've got clear LED turn signals. So we'll see how this goes too. So let's debadge this sucker. This is just Stren. This is a 10 pound test. Stole this out of Michelle's tackle box. Michelle fishes more than I do. We are in the lake and fish all the time, but it's gonna take some work to get that off. You know, I bought one of those wheels and I freaking threw that thing away. I didn't like that thing at all. I know some people get bent out of shape because they like badges. I'm just not a badge guy. It just attracts dirt and I like it looking clean. There we go. This has been on here for 11 years, so it's gonna take some work to get off, I bet. Forget how these come off. I think we push it. The same one, right there. Sweet. That's it. What'd you say, buddy? I'm taking a. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one off too. Yep. All right. So we've got a lock on here. How does this work? Is it turn? No. Yeah, that way. Okay. So I don't need to take that off. Let's pull out the bulb. Is this an S2000? Yep. So I do not want to let that fall in there. We'll ride it, we'll clean this up. It kind of defeats the purpose that I just put. And I just put the uh, power lock on there because I'm probably stripping it right off here, but. Oh, I knew it. I cut my fingernails today. I knew I was going to be doing something. I'm like, you know, maybe I should wait. Sure enough, I'm going to be messing with this, which means I'm going to have to, because this has been on here for so long, I'm certain I'm going to have to break out the polisher to get the S2000 to disappear. I'm telling you, I had that little wheel thing, you know, the spinny thing. I'm pretty sure I threw it away. Yeah, I threw it away. I didn't want to be tempted. I actually just switched to WD-40, which working way better. It's just one of those tedious things you just kind of work your way through. Again, I, I ordered one of those 3M eraser wheels. I just didn't like how much heat is built up. You know, I know I've seen Darren Darren Priest from Auto Fetish use it, and I'm sure it can be used properly, but I just, I don't know, I didn't trust myself with it. I, you know, I felt like it was building up tons of heat. So I purposely threw it away so I wouldn't be tempted to use it. So I still do this the old fashioned way, with my thumbnail. A lot better if I didn't cut my freaking fingernails today. Um, this is another day, but uh, I took the took the rest of the night off last night. I don't know if you can see that. 
but there's the sort of dirty looking S2000 outline. That's what the clear, clear side marker looks like. Anyway, I'm going to work on polishing that S2000 dirt out, but first I'm gonna clay it. So let's get a piece of clay, a little detail spray. So I can still see the outline, so now let's see if we can polish it out. Which I'm sure we'll be able to. And I've done this before with a regular pad and polish, but I'm gonna use some of my Jeskar cutting on this Euro pad, Euro pad from Buck and China. I just wanna try it out. too much. On speed four. Pluffle for the polish removal. I'm not even going to worry about finishing this because the. Yeah, that's dialed, man. So I'm not going to worry about finishing it because the. or finishing it with a finishing polish because this Jeskar finishes down so nicely. But we have clean from any angle. No more S2000 emblem. Done. There's certainly some superficial scratches in the paint. We'll get those out some other day, some other time. Silver is so hard to see anyway. So that'll make for a, a good video. But at least I want to have something in the paint to protect it while we're at it. So I'm going to work on the other side and then um, I'll come back to you and we'll put some colonite on it. All right, so we're debadged. The S2000 is clean, gone. Um, here's something that uh, I'm always afraid of with a car that's been detailed before. Um, there's a little scratch right here. And so I literally did maybe two passes just to see if the scratch would come out and there's clear coat failure um, so there's a you know I'm, I'm through the just barely through it so this was 
wet sanded pretty heavily, I guarantee it. You know, spot sanded. So it's right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that pretty much solidifies. So there's a little, little shine, a little lack of shine to that spot in right here. So what that means is I'm going to be repainting this sucker. You know, I, I've been thinking about it anyway because the, uh, I mean, the whoever painted the hard top is probably the worst, probably the worst paint job I've ever seen in my life. Um, if you can see, see all the crazy sanding marks, I've never seen anything like it. I don't even think I'm going to mess with trying to wet sand it. So I might be ordering a moving hard top here shortly. But whoever gets this top is going to want to sand it. Anyway, just something to think about. I've been, been thinking about repainting it anyway, but that pretty much solidifies it. So what I'm going to do is just throw some colonite on here. Actually, you know what? Since the paint's kind of jacked, I'm not even going to do colonite. I'm going to do spray wax. I'm going to use my new Optimum spray wax. Call it a night. Red towels are my wax towels. Shake it up. With this stuff, you only want to do one small section at a time from what I learned at Optimum Training, and you don't want to use a lot of it. It smells like coconuts. Any little bit of overspray. Too much. So since since I'm thinking about this whole thing and really dialing this car in, I might do go back to the, my idea of doing some aggressive fenders. If you guys are S2000 fans, I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody knows Diaz's car, which is a white. I think they have, I think he has plus 44 offset CE28Ns and bronze with a Muse hard top. The car is amazing. So, me blowing through the clear coat right there tonight might make this a much bigger project than I was originally anticipating. We'll see. Just doing this one day at a time. It's all for fun, right? So I'm gonna go around, finish the car, and I'll just clean up the windows and then we're done for tonight. So I might just keep this running, this video, and not make this an episode series, but just keep cranking them out. I got a lot more work to do in the S2000. I got the Olin's coilovers, I got floor mats, shift knob, headlights. Uh, I got a bunch of frame braces coming. Uh, I gotta do something about the Alcantara shift boot. Um, uh, I got the header, intake header, or I'm sorry, the header, test pipe, exhaust, all coming. Uh, so we'll, we'll just do this one step at a time and I'll just maybe do this car a little differently instead of episode series, just keep, keep cranking through. Um, and we'll figure out what to do with the paint as time goes on. Anyway, thanks for watching. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor.